Hi, Max Painley, robot test engineer at ATI's North Carolina testing facility. I work with customer parts daily to determine the best tool, media, and programming parameters for customer projects. Today, I want to showcase a pair of ATI grinding solutions, the CGV and the PCFC. Both of these products are very useful for light duty grinding projects, and together they cover process to part and part to process applications. Let's start with our process to part tool, the CGV. The CGV is a compliant angle grinder that excels at light weld cleanup. One of our customers sent in a welded steel component with a quarter inch MIG weld bead that needs to be ground flush to the surface. Weld beads like this are typically seen in automotive structural components and larger reinforcement components. We've outfitted the CGV with a 5 inch coarse, non woven, Scotch Bright surface conditioning disc. We chose this disc for its ability to blend the weld into the part and round any sharp edges. The abrasive is also compatible with the CGV's idle speed of 12,000 RPM. The CGV's compliance mechanism allows the disc to work properly, even with misalignment in the robot programming or part positioning. When using a surface conditioning disc, it is important to use low compliance pressure so that the built-in compliance of the disc works as intended. Let's take a look at it in action. We have our CGV on our lab's Fanuc M20. This is a 20 kilogram payload robot, which is enough to handle the payload of the tool as well as the application forces generated by small weld grinding. In this setup, we are bringing the process to the fixtured part. As you can see, the CGV and surface conditioning disc make quick work of this weld. For an application like this, we recommend running the robot at a speed of 50 millimeters a second and at a lower compliance force. A few passes are recommended to remove some discoloration and to smoothly blend and round the weld. The CGV excels in process to part applications that require four or five inch coated abrasives or flap wheels. However, many part to process operations use media that is larger than the CGV can accommodate. Additionally, part to process applications employ rigid tooling, which does not comply when a contact force is applied to it. Because of this, a skilled worker is required to perform the material removal process and ensure that the proper amount of material is removed from a part. To address these part-to-process challenges, ATI developed the PCFC, a passive compliance force platform. The PCFC allows a rigid tool, such as a bench grinder, to be mounted on top of it. Once mounted, the PCFC allows any rigid tool a half inch of compliance travel. The addition of this compliance opens part-to-process applications up to robotic automation. Let's see how it works. The PCFC is mounted to the table with a standard bench grinder attached. In this setup, we are using a shunk gripper to securely hold the part, and the grinder is outfitted with a 6-inch coarse grade, non-woven, Scotch-Brite multi-finishing wheel. We chose the coarse grade to blend the weld into the steel without removing too much material. Our Fanuc M20 is strong enough to handle the payload of the part and manage the process forces. It is also fast enough to avoid removing too much material due to excess dwell times. As you can see, the part makes contact with the grinder, engages the compliance on the PCFC, and zips along, removing the correct amount of material. For an application like this, we recommend running the robot at a speed of 50 millimeters a second and the PCFC at a lower compliance pressure. A few passes are recommended to remove some discoloration and to smoothly blend and round the weld. There are many ways to approach your project. Today, you saw the CGV employed in a process to part application to blend weld seams. This is a great solution for light duty weld cleanup. You also saw how our PCFC can be used to add compliance to a rigid tabletop grinder in a part to process application. If you would like to talk more about these material removal applications, or if you have a different one that you'd like to discuss, contact the material removal team at www.ati-ia.com/mr. We look forward to helping you start your automation journey.